Hello everyone, Marcus Wolf here, welcoming you all back to another episode of Chrono Cross. Last we left off, we managed to trace our way through the sewers. I thankfully managed to squeeze it into one episode. I was a bit worried about that when I got the Roadchester. It's like, oh, I gotta run away and come back. <laughs> so I was a little bit worried about that, but thankfully... 25 minutes in the, in the sewers. It's still a long time in the sewers. It still works. And now, we can go on ahead, break into this cell, and save Riddell. At least, that's the hope. This man is our secret weapon. Hell's cook. <gasps> but... But you are the cook, Orcha. You fiends, what have you done to him? Oh, nothing. We simply had him eat some quaffet seeds. You know how easy they are to find in Hydra marshes. It has the power to release one's dark side. After that, we just ring a special little bell... And next thing you know, we have Orcha, the Hell's Cook. How oh, horrible. But why Orcha? We needed him to steal the dragon's tail from Goldov. Of course, his true self has no idea what he's done. But that's enough talking. Prepare yourself. Who knows what this crazy man is capable of? No! You are Sir Lynx, but why are you here? Actually, this man isn't Lynx. What? Uh, it's too hard to explain. We're just here to take Riddell back. <laughs> Don't you go interfering with my cooking. Actually, you'll make a fine ingredient for my soup. Let's get cooking now, shall we? This is the true boss. Hell's cook. Or Orcha. Uh, honestly, it's like that you have uh, they make you eat something, most likely without you knowing, and then just ring a special bell and it's like, oh I don't know what I'm doing, I'm brainwashed. So that's how they ended up getting the tear from From Goldove. They used Orcha to steal it. Yeah. Yeah. That that's how yeah, that's basically how Lynx ended up getting the tear of hate. Because uh, now I probably shouldn't be saying it now, but I'll say it anyway. The tear of hate is the dragon's tear, is a dragon's tear from Goldove. Yes. And that was used to do the whole body swap. Ripper, ripper thing. I don't, I don't know why I'm saying ripper But yeah, the, the whole body swap thing that happened. So that's how Lynx got his hands on it. He worked with the poor military to then get get it stolen from Goldove. Because Lynx couldn't do it himself. He's an outsider. And I'm pretty sure it's the kind of thing that is basically saying, well, Goldove, they're not going to be looking at outsiders. I mean, they're going to be looking closely at outsiders. But Orcha, apparently he's from Goldove, so people won't think tw well, wouldn't think twice of him being there. It's like, oh, hey, Orcha, welcome back. Anyway, let's just go ahead and lower this guy's defense, because I don't want this battle to go any longer than it that it must. Are you attacking Orcs again? No, you're t wait me, me. Okay, you know I don't care. My fur can withstand being burned, a little bit singed even, and it'll grow back. If it were Norris, well, skin doesn't grow back very well from burns. <laughs> That's just honestly the truth. Uh, okay, that got a little bit morbid. I, <laughs> I don't know where my track of thought was going. But anyway, I don't remember how bad... Hell's Cook is as a character, and I mean that as someone to fight against. I don't think he's too terrible. He hasn't, uh, he hasn't done anything strong yet that I should be worried over. Though, to be perfectly honest, I probably should be healing Norris and not leaving him at, um, uh, at almost half death. <laughs> oh, no, don't beat up the cute baby dragon. Who told you to do that? 
You don't beat up baby dragons. They are cute. They are innocent. They do not deserve to be hit in the face with a frying pan. <laughs> not to mention, I like Draggy, so if you attack Draggy, you're attacking me. I like dragons. So, you insult Draggy, you insult me. Oh god, how long is this taking? I, I think he has a pretty good amount of health. Yeah, please attack Draggy with that. He's fire innate. He takes a big chunk of health from that. Never mind. Oh good, a crit hit. Let me think, let me think. Uh... Yeah, cure plus, for the love of god. Uh, Draggy totally needs it. <laughs> he took a fire attack to the face and took a lot of damage. I didn't think he would take that much damage. He's fire innate. He... But whatever, I, I guess that doesn't matter at the end of the day, fire innate or not. Are you almost gone? Like, for real? Uh, feral cats, please. No, honestly, please, can we just speed this up? This is taking a little bit longer than I care to admit and bother for. He's not even a weakened state yet. Ah, there you go. Complain and you, that, and you shall receive. He's now in a weakened state. I'm burned. I don't know what burns do. I really, really do not. I gotta look that up. Actually, you know what? I have my guidebook. My guidebook right here. So let me go ahead and check up on status ailments real quick, like, once I have a chance. Preferably during Orch's turn. Because I can't do anything during, during his turn anyway. Okay, there we go. Spice of Life. Great. What is that? Are you healing your- Oh, for the love of- Well, now I know what Spice of Life does. It heals. That's great. Uh, give me a hot little moment. Uh, if I can figure out... La 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 Events... Da 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 Page 6, Exploration and Combat. There has to be... Something about... The... Status effects. Give me a hot moment. I, I know. Riveting gameplay right now, isn't it? Me going through the guidebook, looking... Okay, you know what? Forget it. I give up. I did not find it. I totally did not find it, so I'll give up while I'm still ahead and take our health cook, because... Again, I don't want to see this guy's ugly mug any longer than I have to. He's still not dead. Are you kidding me? Sir, please, just give up. In, in the words of Nayuta Sanmari... Let it go, and move on. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, did, did Draggy just kill him with 11 damage? <laughs> there we go, jeez. That only took... 5-6 minutes? So... Yeah, that's a long boss battle. Oh, why did I... I should've went back to the sewer. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, well, that's fine. I don't get to monopolize on this. It, it's what it is. I forgot about this. I should have monopolized in the off-screen. <laughs> what? What? What are you doing? Everyone, Sir Link has gone mad! Get out of here now! I already told you he's not Lynx! Ugh, cha. Ugh, I'm feeling I've done something terrible. Oh, my gluten has a weakness and used me. Need more discipline. I want to make it up to you. I want you to take me with you. I want to help. We got no choice. He just forces himself onto us because he wants to help. Great. That's great and all. Orcha's in our party. I'm not changing them out. And there's a reason for that. There is a very good reason why I'm not changing them out at this minute. And it'll become apparent in this episode. Probably in a couple minutes. <laughs> I will take it upon myself to make sure Riddell leaves the premises safely. Please, distract the soldiers while we make a- Oh shoot, that- that's- that's my Norris. <laughs> please, dis please distract the soldiers while we make our escape. At least I think. I would like to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart. I shall be heading to Hermit's Hideaway to take care of my father. Please be sure to stop by when you have the chance. What are you planning to do after all this? I will be returning here. Then, why don't you join us? Thank you. 
I am honored, my little dragon friend. However, as a soldier of the poor military, I cannot abandon my country or my men. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. I wish you all the best of luck. When you get a chance, please come by and see me again, Norris. There is something I wish to give you. Good luck. Now, we must hurry, Miss Riddell. Goodbye, everyone. I got so confused as to which Norris was talking there. <laughs> I don't know what burns... Do I get hurt? Is it? Is it basically poison? It's not poison, is it? No. I don't know what burns do. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. Let's get the heck out of here. No, we can't go out that way, Lynx. We're, we're completely surrounded. Not a good idea to leave now. Okay. I forgot about that. I actually did. I thought I could go out the front door. Uh, well, we could take the alternate escape route that we did last time. You know, jump off the balcony. Because we can't leave through the front door, quite clearly. Except that idea is no good. And where might you be off to, Sir Lynx? I guess we can't talk our way out of this one. Seize them! Yeah, about that. I'm not going down without a fight, so... As we say in Old English, Skaru Yahoo! That's not Old English, I promise you that. <laughs> but yeah, so now we're fighting against the poor military because... They realized that even though we're Lynx, we have backstabbed them. And the poor military does not take kindly to being backstabbed. Surprise, surprise. And then again, the poor military did kind of just invade Termina or the El Nido Islands, if, as it were. So I don't think they are quite above me beating them up to a wonderful little bruised fruit. I was going to say bloody pulp, but that sounded a little bit too much. So a bruised fruit they will be. I probably should not say bruised fruit either because there is some very negative connotations to that. <laughs> uh, the reason I say that is because for those of you that remember what you were taught in 10th, 11th, 12th grade, you might have, depending on what your teacher's, your, your history teacher's curriculum was, you, U.S. history most likely. So mostly 11th grade. Depending on the curriculum, you might have read a poem. I forgot who it was from, but there was a poem called Strange Fruit. I will not go into the context of that, simply because it runs the risk of going into a somewhat political discussion. Even though it's not fully political, but I, so I, but I will not risk that, because I don't want to make this video into like a segue of politicalness, no. But if you have the time, read the poem called Strange Fruit, and you will understand what I mean. I did not mean to skip all that, I was busy talking, my bad. Basically, Grobik said he was just going to fight us because now it's his turn. My bad. <laughs> I talked through that whole thing and then just mindlessly skipped through it. That was totally my bad. But anyway, next battle is Grobik. And if you noticed in the last battle, Oddly enough, we got a level up star from that. I don't know why. So, yeah. Basically, at this point, it's just battle gauntlet after battle gauntlet after battle gauntlet. It truly is. I don't remember when the last time we did a complete battle gauntlet. I, I think it was back on Fargo's ship of this world, uh, of another world, when we were trying to go to Fort Dragonia. Yeah, I think that was the last time we did a battle gauntlet, so that's actually a good while back. That said, Cy uh, Grobik is... He's not a threat. He really is not a threat. You don't even need to use elements. All you have to do is just beat, beat him up and call it a day. At least that is my hope. I, I, I hope he is just beat him up and call it a day. How strong is this attack, hair cutter? Oh, yeah, that's a hair cut, all right. Cutting with a hair. <laughs> Literally a hair cut. That is a powerful attack. Alright, that's fine. Uh, Draggy? 
You are going to be on heal duty for a small quick moment. You do have the ability to do it, right? Okay, thank god. <laughs> Recover all, please. Oh, that, that haircut move was a lot stronger than I care for. And Norris is not even full health. Oh, that's, uh, that's a little bit concerning. I probably should cast low res just so I can speed this battle up a little bit more. Where is it? No, where are you? Low res, there we go. Low res, please. Ay, ay, ay. But yeah, this part really is just battle gauntlet. It's the Viper Man of Battle Gauntlet. <laughs> Everyone sit tight, it's gonna be slightly boring, except for all the- No, don't he- Are you serious? Are you serious? 224 dan- God dang it. You- You know what, since you're white- Since you're black and name, I'm just gonna cast black magic on you. And hopefully you lose all the health you healed. Oh, he definitely did. Okay, that's good. Uh, so if you, if you haven't noticed a trend here, the bosses are starting to now use healing elements. Joy to the world, everyone. Joy to the world. I don't appreciate it. Because it drags the battle on unnecessarily. I mean, we had Hell's Cook use Spice of Light to heal himself. We have Grobic with the heal all element. Oh my god. Get... Dude. Why can't you be as weak as your poor private element- As your poor, poor soldier friends? Why, why do you need to have a lot of health? It really- It really does not do, do me any favors. It really does not. Oh my god, come on. And he's still not weak- Wait, what's Figora? Is that a heal? Okay. Uh I don't remember what Vigora does. I really don't. But I do remember I want it. Oh, I don't remember what it mm. Vigora does something very ama Oh my god, Grobic. Oh my god. Uh... Hum... How... Is... I think that's what Vigora does. Okay, I think I know what it does now. Oh my god. He just went all out. Now remember, yes, Vigora... Temporarily prevents your stamina from dropping. So you can just attack like nobody's business. That's why he was able to kill Norris so easily. That's what Vigora does. And now you know, now, now I remember why I want Vigora. I just don't remember where it's gotten from. <laughs> but yeah, that's what Vigora does. Did you really miss Norris? That's what Vigora does. It temporarily stops your stamina from draining and you can just attack and attack and attack. Please tell me Vigora's done. Thank you. I was gonna... I was gonna scream in agony if that wasn't the case. Oh my god. Uh, heal, cause Norris definitely needs it. I hope he doesn't cast Vigora again. If he does, I'm going to really scream and... And have everyone defend for their life. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Are you almost dead, my friend? You, you, you've been... Okay, you're almost dead, thank god. Uh, uh, low res again, because I think your defense has gone back to normal. Which does not help me in the slightest. Rocket fist, thank you so much. I, I, I need a fist to the face, I definitely do. <laughs> and Draggy is falling apart. That is not good. Thankfully, Norris has healing elements, so let's go and do that real quick. Uh, cure plus. To Draggy? No, no, thank you. <laughs> I had to be very careful of who I choose, because the only way you can tell who you're choosing is with that little red uh that little red arrow above the character's heads. So if you so you gotta be very careful of who you choose, otherwise you might choose the enemy by mistake. I have done that before, and it is the most annoying thing in the world. 
Oh my god. Good. Good. Grobic. Grobic. Please. I, I have things to do. I have a life. Are you gone? You're not. Okay. I have question marks. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my- I'll be back! God dang it! Alright, we're back. Oh, it took seven and a half minutes to get back here. Grobic is- takes forever to kill. God damn- I timed it. It takes seven minutes to kill this idiot. Well, almost kill. He's now back to where I left him off. Crouching in near death. Please, for love of god- Lynx, I don't have time for you to be missing. He just cast Strengthen, and he is now stronger. For how much longer, I don't know. But you know what? Holy Light. Let's just blind him with the Light of Holiness. And please let him die, because I don't want to deal with this anymore. Is he gone? He is not gone yet. Oh my god. Please. This battle is going on 8 minutes. I'm getting very tired. And very grumpy. More grumpy than I care to admit. All I have is healing. Never mind. Okay. Uh, you know what, Draggy? Just defend. For love of God. You only have nothing else to do anyway. Please. The rocket to the... The rocket fist to the face was what got Lynx dead in the first place. Please. Oh my God. Norris, I do... Are you fri... Mmm... You seriously missed. I... I'm telling you, these characters... Our allies don't seem to care about living. They just seem to want to make life as difficult as possible. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. Eight and a half minutes. Almost... Actually, no. Nine minutes. I'm sorry. Nine minutes to battle and kill Grobic. That was torture. That truly was. <laughs> I couldn't even- I, I didn't even want to re-record that part because I knew it was going to be long and I have no other things to say. Hey, where are you? <coughs> Damn it! <laughs> Fine then. It's time for this baby to go into action. Now go! Go and destroy them! I said move it! Yeah, yeah, who, yeah, pee, pee. Ah, what, what? I don't know if he got killed or knocked out, but yeah, battle number three here. Yeah, battle number three. Oh God, this is terrible. <laughs> oh my God, g g Gilot, I th Gwilot? I think it's Gwilot or Gilot. I don't know. All I know is. Pray for me, people. Pray very strongly because we are about to have a grand old time. Oh, no. Uh, shoot. Yeah, let's low res you. Uh, why not? Why not? Lynx, I kind of want to save him for a little bit later. Ooh, yellow innate field. I wish I had a yellow summon ability, but I don't because guess what? I suck. Actually, I don't think I even have, would have had access by now to a yellow summon spell anyway, so it, it wouldn't have mattered. Drag people, stop missing. I don't have time for you guys to be missing and putting my life at risk at every single turn. Oh my god. I swear, these people love to miss and it's starting to <laughs> drive the ever-living crap out of me. Low, you only know low res, which is unfortunate. Okay, Spiral Ray, why not? It's a yellow innate field. Spiral Ray will be a bit stronger. Not as strong as I had hoped, but it's what it is. Come on, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for the crit. That actually was very helpful. Now. Oh, fer feral cats. I almost said holy light for feral cats. <laughs> Feral Cast is definitely not Holy Light. It totally is not. 
So, as you notice, this thing is now in a, uh, I'm dying stance. So, it is quite weak. Which is pretty good after what we went through with Grobic. So, it is a nice change of pace that he does not last that long. You just really need to beat him up. All he really does, it seems like, is physical attacks. I, I have not seen him do an element attack once. And usually, by, by now, enemies would have used an element attack. I'm not gonna... Okay, there we go. Dead. Good. So, very easy. Thank God. The Gilot is a pushover. Ugh. Again, after dealing with what Grobic dished out to us before, this was a very welcome change. It's like, easy! And we just walk around. It's like, bye! Except not really. <laughs> but I thought we already ex destroyed it! Over here! Must be a new type! Thankfully, this is... This is an auto- this is auto. We don't need to run, walk, whatever. We just need to follow the voice of someone who said over here. Over here being to the library. Well, there's only one person that's in the library, so there's only one person who said over here. Uh, okay, that was a unusually long length of time to wait. <laughs> it's right behind us! Go up! Keep going up! All we can do is go up. No! We're trapped! What do we do? We don't have time! Yeah, there's a caveat there. He was easy the first time. Because we fight him a second time. Yes, this... The, the Giyot is like... I That machine monster during the attack on Dalit in Final Fantasy VIII. That's what this Giyot is. You can disable it. But you can't kill it. It is... It's a very tenacious monster. Monster? It's a very tenacious machine. A little bit too tenacious for my own liking, but it be what it be. Either way, if we can beat him down the first time, we can beat him down the second time. All we need to do is the same thing, rinse and repeat, lower his defense, and beat him into a beautiful pulp. Oh, good thing for Missy Norris. Okay, you took that second hit, but that's fine. Elements. Uh, da -dee -dee -doo -doo. cough drop. The cough mixed, not cough drop. Oh yeah, and Draggy quite clearly does not have his level seven tech ready yet, cause his element grid is not ready for for that, <laughs> which is unfortunate. But he does have his level seven tech. We are ready to use it at a moment's notice. And boy, this battle is going a lot better because no one is missing. Draggy is not missing. Lynx is not missing. Norris is not missing. Uh, I thought he'd be almost dead by now. May uh, hello? Ah, uh, there we go. He's almost dead. So see, very easy. It takes no more than a couple of minutes. Again, compared to, to Grobic, who is... Who gave me like seven minutes of hell. It was like the worst replay of a boss battle I ever had. Ugh. Okay, that's enough griping on that. We're almost done with this. And then the problem becomes, how do we escape? Because this guy is going to keep following us to the ends of the earth. There is no if, and, or but about it. But that's at least disabled again for the time being. We can come up with our next plan now. Once we, you know, finish this level up screen, heal, get a new mithril. Hallelujah. There is a button that lowers the ladder inside the bookshelf. Hurry, you have little time. Thank you! Danke shan! Arigato gozaimasu! Tojesai! Shie shie ni! All the different ways to say thank you. Oh, good thing I won't be able to make it up. Oh! Step aside. No, don't be foolish! Unbelievable! Over here! They're up there! <laughs> we got them now! 
This is endless! Break through the window! Do it now! And this, my friends, is kind of a callback to Chrono Trigger during the trial of King Guardia. Break through the stained glass window. I almost said steel glass. You won't be able to break through steel. <laughs> what the? So where did you folks come from? Sir Lynx. Sounds like you ran into some trouble up there. What are you going to do? The poor soldiers are all over the... All, all, the poor soldiers are all over the place. What? Well, well, they're all over the place. Tell me. Uh, do these dragons get a little bit wild when they're riled up? Oh. Oh, that. <laughs> I see where you're going, Sir Lynx. And I like the idea. Just leave it to me. Over here! Huh? Wait, what's that? No! Whoa! Ah! Bowling! And amazingly, Grobic just dodged everything. <laughs> Grobic dodged every- Bob and weave, Bob and weave. It's like football, Bob and weave. And <laughs> this is great! You're... Why did you save us? You oppose the poor military. Robic finds that interesting. Robic only takes orders from one who is stronger. Thus, Grobic will join you in your battle. Grobic joined your party. Yeah, the poor military made a slight miscalculation when they created Grobic. They made it so that he would only take orders from those stronger than him. We've proven that we can beat him in battle, so by his programming, we're stronger than him, so he takes orders from us. Great job, poor military! You made a cyborg that is willing to betray you at a moment's notice. Good job. <laughs> uh, I think... I think I can change party members now. Uh, actually, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> we're going to not change party members for now. Otherwise, we're going to have trouble. <laughs> Call upon Grobic whenever you need help. I will. Thank you. Donkey Shan. Arigato gozaimasu. Let's escape while we still can. There should be a boat ready. Let's head to Hermit's Hideaway. And I think we automatically go there. If not, then I get to save. If we do, then it's a long episode. Okay, good. Thank God. <laughs> I thought there was more to do. Uh, thank God there isn't. So, oh, Korcha's boat is right here. Except it's probably not manned by Korcha. But you know what? That's fine. That'll be another... An that will be something for another day. For now, I need to really rest my voice and recover from the debacle that was Grobic number two. Another seven minutes. <laughs> Nightmare. Later, everyone.